Hello everybody, it's Crafty Rhea and I am back to make a couple more Christmas cards. This is from the most recent Happy Mail that I have received. It was one of the wishes on the uh, Creativity Happy Mail Swaps and Friendship group. And these two cards are simply beautiful. Well, this one's beautiful and this one's adorable. And I don't really have to do a whole lot to them because they're already very embellished. If you can see on this one, it already has some glitter on it. And the snowflakes are kind of a holographic. So I want to keep most of that intact and I don't want to really do much that's going to compete with it. This card here is just adorable and it has glitter all over it. And I don't have to do a lot to that either. I don't want to compete with it. These are larger cards. So I went ahead and got out a couple of five by seven card bases and they fit perfectly. So I will trim them down a little bit. I don't have a whole lot of colors to choose from in this particular five by seven card base. They're kind of just bright colors. But this blue I thought would go good with the tree. And I thought this pink would be really cool with this card. I don't use the pinks very often for Christmas cards, so I try to use them whenever I can. So I have that one. I have some scrap pieces of cardstock to mat the sentiments on the inside. I picked some coordinating colors. And of course, I have my art glitter glue. No, not my art glitter glue. My Elmer's glue all in an art glitter glue bottle. I have my tape runner and my bling box, which I haven't used in a long time. So here we go. My poor bling box has been just neglected lately. All right, let's start with the Christmas tree. I'm going to go ahead and start by cutting the front off the card. This card is so beautiful. I'm going to take a little bit more than just the front off because I want to mat it on the blue. The bottom corner of this card has a little goof, little fold, so I'm going to trim a little bit off that edge and then I will take a sliver off the top and the bottom just to neaten it up and give it fresh edges. Sometimes when cards have been through the mail, hung on your wall, taken off your wall, they get little, you know, scuffed on the edges. Let's see how that looks. I still need to take a little bit off the edge um, on the width. The height is good. I think that's pretty good. It gives it a, about a sixteenth of an inch mat all the way around. I think maybe I'll take just a, one more sliver off of that side. And I don't know how well you'll be able to see this on the screen since the color is pretty similar. Okay, then I will cut the sentiment out and on the inside it has these pretty snowflakes so I want to keep this pretty big. I have moved my new microphone. It is mounted up right next to the camera instead of on my lapel so hopefully the sound quality won't be um, as loud you won't be able to hear all of my breathing. I tried to hold my breath but then I turned blue and that's just not good for anybody. All right so I'm just going to go ahead and mat this on the very front of the card. This cardstock is so pretty. It's kind of a silvery glimmery cardstock. I'm using my Elmer's. I 
I'll use my bone folder just to spread that glue out underneath. That's a good idea to do with any kind of wet glue. And while I have it out, let me go ahead and mat this on the inside. I have this blue cardstock, which I think matches pretty good. And I think I'll just put it right on there like that. Let me make sure it's going to be wide enough or not too wide. I use just a little bit of the glue. It doesn't take much. If your glue goes on globby or thick, it can really um, make the paper buckle or you can see the glue lines on the paper. I'm very hesitant to use wet glue, I'm learning. But I've found that that works well if you squish it down and spread it out enough. And take a little sliver off the bottom since I didn't put it very even. That's much better. And I will put glue on the back of this. And then I will put my pin back in. And this looks really pretty on the inside. It gives you plenty of room to sign the card as well. Okay, so to fix the front or to decorate the front, I decided I would use my bling box. I have this gorgeous bling that it has a holographic feel to it and I think that's what I'm going to use. It's perfect that it was right on top. That's exactly what I was looking for. This bling I got at the Dollar Tree. It was in a huge sheet and um, I cut it down. I have some that are single. They come on a strand of adhesive but I have some pieces that are smaller that I will use them singly. I'm just putting them in the center of these snowflakes. There we go. I think my bird's being quiet today. Put one in the center of each one and I can just, when they're on the strand, I just put them down, hold it with my finger and just pull. They come apart really easy. And I think I'll put one in the center of the star up here. It has gold in the center, but that's okay. A little bit of gold glitter. I'll cover it up with that. So there it is. You can see how beautiful those holographic pieces are. So that card is done. I didn't have to do a whole lot to it. Super easy, but yet it's going to be super beautiful for whoever receives it. Let's put this back in my bling box. Now the next card it's another super easy one. This one I just love. It is so whimsical. It is so pretty. I love bright, cheery colors like that. I'm going to start by cutting the front off. Again, I'm just going to cut the fold off. It just makes it easier. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut the inside sentiment out. I have to make sure I have it straight. And the back is white. Now, if you need white cardstock for stamping or anything, these pieces are great to save. This is a nice thick cardstock. It's matte on the inside, and then the back is shiny. And this is 
Hallmark. So we're going to make better than Hallmark today. So let's see how this looks on here. Okay, I'm going to have to cut a little bit off the top and the bottom to even it up. So I'll take a little sliver off the top. It does kind of have the bent corners anyway. And I'll take a sliver off the bottom to get rid of that bent corner. Straighten out my mat. Got a little crazy there. There we go. Now let me see which one I like for matting the sentiment on the inside. I think I'll go with the blue. I have a smaller piece of that. This teal blue color. Maybe I'll mat it on this and the pink. Maybe do a double mat. Oh, what am I doing? Keep it out, keep it out. So I will put this on here. Ah, my sentiment slid around, but I had just enough time to get it back. And then I think I will mat it again on here and then I'll just add some of the whimsical colors to the inside. I didn't have an exact match to the card. All right, so we have that for the inside. While I have my glue open, I'm just going to um, put the glue on the inside, on the back of this, and glue that down. Now I will put the pin in my glue. Okay, so for the front of the card, I think I will also use my bling box. There are two letters that don't have any um, glitter on them. And I bet they're feeling a little bit left out. So let's find some bling that will work on those. I might use that. Let me see. I may want to use the red or the multicolor. I also have one of the letters is pink. It's more of that color pink. And I also have the clear. So I could use the pink on the N and the red on the H, or I can use this blue color on both, which I think I will since all the other glitter is that same blue color. I don't like the clear and I think that's going to make it too messy. I just happen to have this package I never opened. 
these are from AliExpress. They're the really small, I think three millimeter size um, bling. I've ordered these a long time ago. I haven't ordered anything from AliExpress in forever. So I don't even know if they still have them. I think Amazon does have some bling like this. I will, will have to recheck. If I find it, I will list it below in the um, comments, not comments, but the description. I love to use this bling to outline certain letters. It's so easy and it really, I think, adds a lot. And this bling is the same as the other as far as it being on a strand of adhesive. It's so easy to work with. There we go. And I don't think a whole lot else needs to be done. I might put some bling. Let's put some bling on his buttons. Let's see. I have pearls. We can give them some pearl buttons. I have large bling in different colors. And I think I'll go ahead and use these different colored large bling. I have one in that same color that's loose. And I also have a pink one. I think I'll use a pink one on the bottom since the card has a lot of pink on it. I have two that are stuck together. There we go. All right, well that was quick and easy. We have two cards. I let the card do the work, let the paper do the work as they say. And I just added a few extra goodies to these cards. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe. There's plenty more videos coming. If you haven't joined my Facebook group yet, head on over there. It's Create with Crafty Rhea. Great group of ladies. And then also leave me a comment below. I love to hear your thoughts and ideas. Thank you so much, everyone, again for watching. And I appreciate all of you. And until the next video, you know what to do. Go get crafting. Bye-bye.